Hey everybody, um, by now I'm, I'm sure you've heard about the, um, the big controversy that Governor Cuomo signed into law in New York about allowing full term, full term abortions. You know, I, um, I just can't reconcile abortion period at any point in the pregnancy. It's pure evil. It's sinful. This is a live baby a human being. It has a fingerprint. It has feelings. It has its own personality. I keep thinking uh, back to and wondering, like, when's the first time somebody came up with the idea that, oh, uh, there's a pregnancy and we want to get rid of this baby and how do we do it? And it's pretty graphic and it's pretty, like I said, I can't think of another word other than evil. Sticking a tongs type of device into the woman and pulling the baby out and sometimes pulling the baby out in pieces limb by limb or having a partial birth abortion where the baby's head is now out and then they stick a scissors in the back of the head and stick a vacuum in there and suck its brains out i mean i can't even believe that I'm saying this. I can't even believe that someone would come up with this, let alone that this has been a practice and has been legal here in the United States. Also, um, there's a procedure where you can stick a needle in and, and sh give a uh, poison into the baby's skull or else in the spine. And then what the mother does is about a day later, they'll go back into the clinic and see if the baby is dead. And they say that this is a very painful process for the baby. So here you got a baby that's being injected with poison in an attempt to kill it, and it's still living and feeling this pain. Like I said, it's just pure evil. The other thing that really fires me up too, and not let alone this act of evil, is the United States federally funds, they're taking our tax dollars and funding organizations like Planned Parenthood. So we're paying for this. And then on top of it, they're spreading this evil literally around the world. They're sending federal tax dollars to other countries so they can spread the evil over there and say, hey, get abortions over there with our tax dollars. I mean, it's just, I just can't reconcile it in my head. So the reason I wanted to do this video was for two groups of people out there. One, if you're somebody that's thinking about getting an abortion or Maybe you're um, a boyfriend or a father and you're pressuring your girlfriend or your wife into getting an abortion. I want to urge you and invite you to go to hope360.org. We have stories up on our website of women that have gotten abortions and um, they have repented. They have said that this was the worst thing that we've done. And there's one of them that said that she just wants to be that one person for somebody, if somebody needs help. Because she said when she was walking into the abortion clinic to get an abortion, that um, she wishes just one person would have come up to her and said, you know what, you don't have to do this. But the people around her at that time were pressuring her and saying, you know what, this is the only way out, you need to do this. So she's up there, on the, she has her story up there and she's just, she wants to be that person to come alongside just one, one of you and uh, to help you and, and uh, guide you to not do it. Uh, there's another story. There's other stories up there of women that have said they just um, felt like there was no way out and they just blocked it out and they just kind of hurry up and did it. But all of the women have one thing in common. They said it's, it's, um, it's a traumatic experience. Even after the fact, you're just the guilt and the anxiety and the depression that comes along with it. That's not, that's what that's not what you hear from Planned Parenthood or some of these these um, organizations that perform abortions. They just say it's all hunky-dory. Okay, now it's done and you're done. Well, that's not the case. The other group of people I wanted to do this video for was um, people that have had abortions. Um, you've either had an abortion or maybe you're, again, a father or a boyfriend that has participated in the decision to have an abortion. And, you know, it says in the Bible, like I was talking about earlier, that God will forgive you. If you go before God and repent, he will forgive you. And how you repent, it says in the Bible, is you, A, confess your sin to God. You humbly go before God and confess your sin. And then two, uh, or B, 
you ask for forgiveness and then see, turn from that sin. Don't do it again. So, like I said, I, um, I know there's a lot of people out there that would love to adopt. There's hope. And so I want to invite you to go to hope360.org and watch uh, one of the stories up there. My, my heart, I just grieve for our nation. You know, when Governor Como signed that bill into law the other day, and I saw that video of uh, the people in the chamber there standing and applauding and cheering this evil law that got put into place. It just, like I said, it's just mind boggling to me. So anyway, wherever you're watching this, if you would like it, subscribe, share it. Cause I just want to, my, my heart is to help uh, those two groups of people to stop the abortion. Or if you've had one, God can give you hope through uh, having a relationship with him and through repentance. All right. Thanks for watching.